Hey guys, Mike Martin here. A few people have been asking me how we create the smart forms inside of um, inside of Lead Simplify, so I'm just gonna show you. But basically, as you can see, we've got a nice looking form here on the left-hand side. But if you actually have a look, it's actually lots of different little elements. And I'll show you how we've put that together. So we use Lead Simplify and Elementor. Okay, so the first thing we do is we create a sections, okay? Just click on your sections, like so. And what you can do is you can pull something across like this. Well, let me add a, another couple of sections of this just to bring it down. Okay, so what you do is you grab this and you split the section across. And the first thing you go, go over do, you go into Lead Simplify, click on Leads, and this is just a testing system. Click on Farm Builder, and which one are we on? Okay, so we've created the Gardener one here, haven't we? So just let me. Okay, so as you can see, the form just looks like this inside. I'm just going to show you how we style it for just this little bit. So it's, there's not a massive amount of styling goes on inside here. Click on toggle your style sections. Set your background to transparent. Click on here, set your text color. by dragging it to wherever you want. Click your back button to red and type in the word back. Your success button to next. And then get my free quotation and then put your success message in here so thank you up to three local gardeners will contact your quotation shortly okay, so that's all, all we've done to style this and then down here we have this form was created using leadsimplify.com and that's just because it's a demo so I want people to know where I've built the form got the top two sections and then a page break which obviously is just down here just drag these into position and you can drag and drop them up and down as you please okay then you've got second section here so you got two more sections and a page break the two sections page break and I like to do it in sets of two so it just looks quite nice and neat okay so that's all we do inside Elite Simplify and then we just go over to oh let me scroll down go over to here and copy that little code okay and we're going to use that for our form then if we're going to have a look at this so what we've done is we've rounded the corners on this one rounded the corners down here create this little fancy thing in here. So what I'm gonna do now is, this is where I'm gonna build the form. So the first thing I do is I go over here and I'll grab inner sections, I'll pull one in. Okay, and it usually pulls in two, so what you do is you right click there, click delete. Then what I'll do is I'll duplicate this. Okay, next step is to go to here, type in HTML, and drag that in. Now, because we made the form transparent on the background, and basically see through. So that's done. All right, next thing I like to do is then you come over here and you'd say style. No, in fact, go over here first. See here where you get your padding and stuff. Okay, so let's say we do top, we'll have say 30, right, we'll have say 20. And as you can see, it's actually moving the form. So you see that's kind of moved it into position now and obviously on the other the other way we were doing it previously out of a different color background if you look so the reason why it stands out is because it's got an image on the background and stuff so let's just give this section a background color so you can get the oops so you get the idea just put it on a black one then you can See where it's all standing out, okay? Right, maybe it's a bit ugly that. Let's just put it on a grey one so it's not. Let's see. So that, right, okay. Plan my videos and all that, as you know. Right, so then you get your two sections here on top of the two inner sections inside of your column. So if you want to add a column, you click here. If you want to add an inner section, you go up here and drag this in. All right, so next thing you want to do is right, okay, we don't want any black backgrounds. So what we do is we go into the form, click on style. And you go to background, let's give it a white background on this bit. So there you go, looks lovely again now. Next thing to do, scroll down the page, you see the shape divider? Yeah, let's give it a triangle, same as the, I think it was a triangle, let's go look. Yep. So I just click on that, so a triangle. I'm going 
add the colour you want. So I'm just going to select a colour from here. I'm not going to mess around doing all that you're making it look beautiful and all that crap. That'll do. Right. Then what we do, come up to this intersection and click on there. And give the background a colour. Same colour, just copied it from the other one. Update. As you can see, it's starting to take shape now. Go under there, scroll down, and border. See this little border radius here? Click on that there. And go up your bottom, bottom left. So let's put that there. See the little corner? Click on the top one. Oops. Click on the top one. Same situation, scroll down the border. We want one up here on the top right, don't we? So we click this so that they're separate. You click them all at once, I'll show you what I mean. So it does them all, so you don't want to do that. Click this so you can do them separate. All right, give it a 30. Sorry if my voice is a bit quiet, guys, I'm not very well. Okay, so we've done this, we've created the form, we've added the little Next thing we just want to put in is a little header, so it's super simple, just drag the text over. Let's say we had a heading about this long. Okay, go to style, centralize it, make it white, click typography, drag this to make the size you want it. If you want another subheading, same situation, you can actually duplicate this if you want a subheading, it's quicker. Right click, duplicate, and then we go in and probably say, we're going to make that smaller so it looks better. It doesn't look as cool as that one yet, does it? few less words because obviously you don't want too many words in the second one get a little bit bigger then what we probably do is change the font I don't know what font I've used on the other one I tend to like how big to go a lot of people don't similar situation Depends how many words you're going to have in your heading. Okay, so we're starting to look a bit nice there. Then I'd probably go up here just so that this follows suit with the form. What you want to do is go back over to this bit. And if you remember, we did we do this? Let me just check. So we did 30, 20, 10, 20. Yes, yeah, so it's top 30, right and left 20, bottom 10. So I'd probably follow suit with this one over here. Okay, we've got too much on the top there, haven't we? But it's this simple to start playing around and make it nice. So as you can see, we've now got a kill form that would sit inside almost any page. Let's see we're adding background image. And then obviously we'd put an image inside of here. But as you can see, that is very, very close to that. Obviously, I've not got the colours right. 
but as you can see it's maybe a little bit thinner and you can also remember you can also grab the section itself and you can do similar styling so say you want a margin like that which just drags it in and makes it fit into the box a little bit better so that gives it a margin now, the difference between a margin is a margin goes on the outside of your image so if we were and the, the, the padding goes on the inside okay so it depends if you're working inside a block or outside a block in this situation we're cool with a margin but as you can see the form looks absolutely lovely now customer comes along fills it in and it looks really really nice so the advanced stylings when you're talking about these type of forms it's pretty easy to do in, in using elementary and lead simplify you can make forms that look absolutely awesome and fit with anything and it's because the forms that are built inside elite simplify automatically no matter what you do change dynamically based on the size of the box so they go wider or shorter there are more advanced features and um, a little bit more styling features you can do where you can make the buttons go full length and stuff like that but when you're talking multi-level forms these next and back forms seem to work just perfectly okay guys hope that helps thanks a lot bye bye